Welcome back to a brand new episode of Mushroom Programming. In today's episode, we're simply going to create a program that displays today's current date and time. And without further ado, let's just get started. So the first thing we need to do is importing the date time module. So to do that, I'm going to type in import and then I'll type in date time just like this. I will then go to the next space. Now, what I'm going to do is I'll say now time. So just basically, or maybe we can say today's date and we're going to say it's equal to date time dot date time dot now and this basically captures today's date and time and saves it under today's date so this variable today's date is now going to be saving now today's date and what i'm going to do next is i'm going to print it so let's go ahead and do that first of all let's go ahead and say print and let's let me just walk you through something now so in order basically what we have is now we have today's hour minute uh day date uh month and year but if we just print it so if i just say today date save this and print it what we're gonna get is this entire date it says 2021 9 15 and then the hour so 15 which is 3 56 and 15 seconds point all of this now this might be useful and you might need it but let's see how we can actually format it in a different way so i'm going to again remove this and now i'm going to say uh we can just say formatted date is equal to and i'm going to refer back to today's date so i'm going to say today date dot str and we're going to basically select this one and inside of here, we're going to basically pass what we want to show. So let's say you wanted to have the year, then you're simply going to say percent sign and then capital Y. And if I run this and print it, maybe just so that we can see it. So print formatted date and save. If I run this right now, we're only going to get the year. So let's go ahead and think about this for a second. We can probably save this as year because now we're capturing the year and then we can have month and we're going to say it's equal to today's date dot str and then inside of here i'm going to put a percentage sign and then m just like this we obviously need the day as well so i'm going to be saying day is equal to today's date dot str f time percentage and then i'm going to be putting the day oops the day there we go so now I want to print this in the format of day, month, and year. So this is exactly what I'm going to be doing now. I'm going to create another variable and I'm going to say, I will just say formatted date. And I'll say it's equal to day plus, maybe I can leave a space to make it easier, plus the month plus the year. And we can go ahead and actually print that. So I'll print formatted date. Now I'm going to save this and let's go ahead and run it and see how it looks like now. So we get this, as you can see, the 15th of the 9th, 2021. Obviously, this is not what we want because now it's just too messy. So we can say this. It's plus, oops, sorry. It's plus. And I'm going to do this and that. And we're basically just going to copy this again and again. So just like that. Over here. There we go. Now I'm going to again save this. Let's run it again. And here we go. We finally got that date that we're after. 15th of the 9th, 2021. And you can basically remove or like manipulate the order of this to match whatever format you're really after. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you liked this episode. Please make sure you leave a like and a subscribe. See you next time.